Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood is a new hack and slash stealth game set in the world of Darkness Universe. You play as a werewolf who fights a mega corporation who invades your home. So straight off the bat, I would not recommend this game. Like if it's on sale for like ten, fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars max, and like you like the premise or you like the world of darkness universe and you're looking for like something to fight off some boredom, then buy it. But at thirty dollars, it is not worth it. It plays like a much older game. It does not seem like it was made in the year of our Lord 2022. Like your character moves really clunkily. Like the character feels like kind of weightless when you move them. The graphics look rough. Like it's an early Xbox 360 game. And the character models do not look any better. In fact, the character models look worse than the rest of the game. They all have like an a thousand yard stare. Like they're looking right through your character. The models all look real pale and like uncanny. Like they just don't look right. The lips don't sync with the voice acting sometimes. And the voice acting is honestly so terrible. It takes all the steam out of the story. Like, okay, spoiler alert if you really care about this story. The main character, Kahal, left his family for five years, comes back and talks to his daughter. And it sounds like they're in an office meeting. They sound so bored. Like nobody ever shows any emotion. They could be telling you their deepest, darkest secret. And it sounds like they're ordering from McDonald's. Like they just sound bored. They sound like how I felt when I was playing the game. Not that you should care too much about this story. It's pretty lackluster. You play as Gahal, a werewolf who after a failed mission where his wife is killed and he loses control of his rage and kills his pack leader's wolf buddy, he goes on a self-imposed exile for five years leaving his daughter behind, but when he finds out Indron, an evil mega corporation, is invading and attacking his pack, he goes back and helps them fight Indron and save the planet. So based off of that premise, you might think, hmm, okay, sounds kind of cool, you know, sounds a little hard. I'm a werewolf fighting off a mega corporation with a tragic backstory, but nah, the pacing is atrocious. It honestly, it ruins the story just straight off the back. Like the tutorial is about like 10, 5 to 10 minutes maybe if you fly through it, where you talk to your wife and daughter real quick. Then you sneak for a little bit, then you fight some people, and then some monster just kills your wife. And then you kill the monster, and then your pack leader comes in, and then you attack his wolf buddy and kill him. And then you just leave, and then it's five years later. Like, you know, just a nice little time skip, just like that. I wish they would have had us interact with our family more, maybe run some missions with a pack leader. Get to know people, especially with the atrocious voice acting. It's impossible to care. And then to make things worse, like the second mission, literally, you just find out five years later. You literally find out that your pack is getting attacked, and you head straight back. So in the game, you were in exile for five years, but like actual playtime, you leave the pack for like 15 minutes. So that's why I said pacing kind of kills the story. So, you know, the story's pretty terrible, and the game doesn't look too great, but, you know, at least the gameplay is fun, you know, it's super awesome. Yeah, no. Uh, so this gameplay is really weird. So the basic gameplay loop is you'll talk to the pack leader or someone else, they'll tell you where to go, and then you go to that area, then you have to sneak from area to area in that location, or you can just kill everyone in your werewolf form except in the parts in the of the game where stealth is mandatory which makes the game uh, significantly less fun because the stealth is so basic they try to spice it up where you can turn into a lupine form where you turn into like a wolf and can move faster and be sneakier but you can't use takedowns or technology but there's no points there's just like ugh. the layouts are really boring it's not that hard there's just like walls up and a couple guards milling about so you know you walk behind the walls make sure they don't see you they just make stealth so boring it's not fun you don't feel like you just outsmarted a hard ai you're just bored and the detection system is so basic you know it's that shit where it's like if the guard sees you ai icon pops above his head 
So, yeah, this stealth, very lackluster, very boring, very basic. So, how is the combat? Well, as I mentioned before, it's a hack and slash. Um, I'll give the game a little bit of praise. Combat is better than stealth, but it's still boring and basic. So, you have two combat stances, agile and heavy. And agile, you know, you're faster, but you don't hit as hard as in and heavy or slow but scratch harder I guess so when I first started playing the game like the f first little tutorial mission I was having fun you know you kill the guards like their blood stains the walls and floors and shit and heavy rock music plays it really tries to make you feel badass but like then you only have like a light and heavy attack and a with a few abilities and they're real basic like you know you'll like uh, howl and it'll make things around you kind of like get knocked back and a dodge button but every combat session plays out the same you just mash the mouse button and dodge around a whole bunch because it gives you like that little boost of speed so you can go to like the left or right of where they're going to attack you but there's no cooldown so you can just kind of like you know shift and w everywhere you want to go just kind of speed everywhere now i mentioned abilities um this game has a skill tree but my god is it pointless and so small like why even have one i wish they wouldn't have had a skill tree and maybe you put some of that budgeted effort into like any other part of the game because there's about what i think there's about three skill trees and they each have about like five to seven skills and then there's a a little smaller skill trees of two each and there's like seven of those for some like buff for stealth but those aren't really that important well none of them are they don't really help you too much like, you could easily beat the game without using your skill tree at all. Like everything else in the game, it's just bland. The camera controls in this game are awful, and there's no setting for the sensitivity. And I feel like looking around, like looking to the left or right, you know, turning your character 360 takes so long. Like, I had to drag my mouse halfway across my desk to look to the left of me. And I have a small desk, so maybe that doesn't help, but the fact that there's not even like a sensitivity setting really irks me. Like it feels like such a lazy like console port, but it literally released like on console and PC at the same time. And it's also weird that in the settings, like on the controller layout, it shows like Xbox and PS4 controls. It's like, how is that? Why is that in the PC port, you know? And then, God, what else sucks about this game? The levels are not creative at all. They just sort of blend together. I feel like I'm in the same, like, factory or lab the whole time when I move places. Nothing really feels different. And then not to mention, when you go certain places, it's like, man, I feel like it's real. Like, like they make the game seem almost small. Like, you're in this big forest. But then, like, Indron set up a recruiting facility, like, probably 50 feet away from like the tree spirit and where everybody else in your uh werewolf pack lives so i don't know so overall i mean i'd rec i would not recommend this game i had really high hopes for this game well <laughs> kind of after i saw the first trailer i was like oh maybe it won't be good but i was hoping to be at least decent i don't think it'd be this awful like, not even the fact that it's like a World of Darkness game and gives you, like, some more lore and content. Can't even save it. Like, I feel like that's probably the only reason this game was even bought up. Because if this was just a generic, like, didn't have the World of Darkness lore behind it and it was just a regular werewolf game, I guarantee you this thing would have, nobody would have bought it. Um, you know, kind of fitting that Cyanide Studios made the game... Because, like, mm, killing yourself might be a better alternative to playing this. Overall, would not recommend it. That's all I have to say. This has been Conduit Gaming. You're still watching. That's incredible. <laughs> um, this is, you know, all I got. I'll see you next vid. <laughs> Probably, like, you know, two months from now. I'll see y'all.